Uh, he personified the values of non-racialism. That's how the Chief Justice Mohueng Mohueng is hailing Justice Edwin Cameron at a special sitting to honor him. Justice Cameron retires after 25 years as a judge. He's openly gay and one of the first public figures to disclose his HIV status in the early 1990s. Let me take you live now to the Constitutional Court. There's a Yanka Tolme reporter standing by. And you'll tell us, Yanka, good afternoon to you. Not unexpectedly moving and very powerful tributes for Judge Cameron. Yes, uh, that is correct, Jeremy. Definitely a uh, moving day here in the Constitutional Court. Uh, some would call it an end of an era, uh, Justice Edwin Cameron uh, effectively retiring from today after about 25 years on the bench. Uh, but you could just hear from the tributes here today, uh, it's not just his work uh, within the legal fraternity that uh, will definitely keep him in people's mind, but it's also his activism. A lot of talk about the things he did uh, outside of his career as a judge, uh, the fact that he openly disclosed his HIV status back in uh, 1999 uh, when it was not uh, necessarily uh, a thing to do at that stage because of the stigma uh, that still uh, surrounded uh, HIV AIDS and also his work that he's done in championing the rights of gay and lesbian people. Uh, but I do have here with me uh, a former colleague of his, a uh, former uh, Deputy Chief Justice, uh, Dick Hang Musaneke, who's worked closely uh, with Justice Cameron and uh, was sitting with him on the bench here on his last day just to uh, reflect with us on, on his career and his life. Uh, thank you very much for joining me. Um, what a remarkable day. Uh, uh, a man that someone or many of us have called brave and definitely leaving behind quite a legacy here in the constitutional court. Uh, just your reflections and memories on uh, Justice Cameron. I don't think words can ever do justice to really what he is. <clears throat> He's larger than life. And I've had the privilege of sitting close to him for 10 years, but I've known him for 30 years. And I often say Cameron and I and, and a breed of other justices were both part of the push to destroy apartheid and to be part of the reconstruction of society after, after the, in the transition. So I have that privilege of being very close to him. Cameron has a very, very bright mind. He's extremely intelligent. He has clarity of thought, but even more importantly, he has a deep sense of his own humanity and the humanity of others. He becomes my kind of man, if you think of his history and my history. We both, when we're young, get into difficult situations. He grows up in a home and, and with parents who are absentee parents, really, and rises to the stellar position that he ultimately got on this court and he goes on to write amazing amazing judgments and i've had the privilege of concurring with him writing with him co-authoring some of the judgments with him and i often say he was my jurisprudential sweetheart he was he who i knew i trusted and i i believed in his judicial instinct and if we differed, I would listen carefully because the chances were that I am the one who is wrong mm. if I do differ with him on any particular point. But above all of all that, and some that every judge needs, is just a deep sense of humanity, the deep sense of fairness, mm. that empathy and respect and regard for other human beings. And that is why it came to him almost naturally to go out and fight the LGBT fight. He could have had his own private sexual choices without getting into the foray, but he knew it wasn't enough. So that humanity comes through his concern about, for instance, treatment around HIV and AIDS, which he himself could handle 
in silence and successfully. Yeah. Every time he came back after cycling in Cape Town, mm. and you'd come and show me the results, how wonderful they'd done. we just testimony to his wonderful health, both of mind and body. So he's my kind of guy. Fight your battles, mm. come on top, but do it with great love, respect, and care for others. Now, um, during his last speech or uh, address to the Constitutional Court here today, he did mention that uh, there's still a tough road ahead for South Africa. And this comes at a time where some might say there have been uh, attacks on the judiciary and its independence. Um, what is your remarks on those specifically? Look, he's quite right. <clears throat> the, the judiciary has to be reinforced, has to be strengthened, and it must continue to play this role that is central to any constitutional democracy. Mm. Those are the rules we've agreed that we'll have a society underpinned by, by law. We've agreed that we will act only within those precincts the democratic prince that our constitution has put together. Yeah. And we need judges who would do the work continuously. The minister was generous today to say, but for <clears throat> our class of judges, this country would have been in dire straits. Yeah. He was kind, and I'm happy to take a bow. I'm sure Cameron too. But in fact, we do no more than our duty. And we should resist the temptation, the political expediency, to take pot shots on the judiciary. It's uncalled for, it's unnecessary. And I know that these women and men who are so dedicated and who, who do so their damnest. If you disagree with the judiciary, you have to find a way to express your disagreement. It has to be fair. It is, not personal, and indeed it must be grounded on good ground and reason. Otherwise, you're pillaring an institution which all of us can ill afford not to have. Yeah. And we should reject any suggestion that judges are bought, judges are on anybody's payroll. I've worked there for 15 years, mm. and I know the level of their dedication. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much for your time. Um, there you have it, uh, Jeremy. Just uh, uh, some thoughts on uh, what we heard here today in the Constitutional Court, uh, not only on the life and career of Justice Cameron, uh, but also uh, uh, where South Africa finds itself uh, at the moment uh, with some remarks uh, on the judiciary and its independence. All right. Yanka Tome at the, uh, the Constitutional Court in Bramfontein, uh, Judge Dekhang Mosaneki speaking about uh, Judge Edwin Cameron uh, retiring after 25 years, a notable South African.